Sarah Kaplan. I'm Jennifer Kaplan. We created Footsie Folds. So growing up in our family was, it was pretty strict where it was all about school and doing the best in school and getting a job right out of college. Doing whatever it took to be the best at what you're doing. And yes. that was, it was very, it was drilled, ingrained into us that we needed to, whatever we do, we needed to be the best at it. The creativity side wasn't something that was considered important in our, in the way we grew up. When I was, I think, a freshman or a sophomore, I was, I was con constantly wearing high heels to go out with my friends and by you know an hour into the night I really couldn't take the pain anymore of what the heels were doing to my feet and also I was bringing out a large handbag because my shoes my extra pair of shoes weren't fitting into the clutch bag so I called her and I said all my friends are making fun of me because I'm bringing out this big bag and there's nowhere to put my shoes we really need to somebody should be creating a shoe that rolls to fit into a tiny handbag and then a couple years later uh, I was working um, in corporate America and she called me one day and she said, remember that shoe idea you had? And I was at work and I was like, I can't talk to you right now. What are you calling me for? And she said, well, I'm going to go do it. Do you want to do it with me? And I said, what? We don't know anything about shoes. Like, what are you, where are you coming from on this? And then next thing I know, she starts so next sets thing up I, a company. Right, like I incorporated it. We had a name. We were, you know, trying to figure out how to make it. My background is actually in accounting, but I did a little stint in marketing and PR and I knew about trade shows and I knew that that's kind of where you had to go to get your goods seen. And I went and I looked at the, one of the last accessory trade shows at all the sales reps that were in there and I emailed every single one of them and said, would you like to take and our nobody line? Would, no nobody would write us back. back. But one. One, one took a risk on us. Yeah. We have a table this small, literally this small, and we stood on both sides of it and anybody who walked by, we rolled it up in our hand and we're like, this is a shoe and you can street walkable, you can wear it and outside. And everybody who and walked by was like, oh my God, oh my God. We explained it and we, pitched it, people went crazy over it, and then they gave us orders. And then we said, what are we gonna do now? Three months into being in business, we, we got, got into, into Oprah Magazine. It was crazy. Fast. It was so fast. In the first year of our business, I did not really have a personal life. My husband and I, uh, he rarely saw my face. It was um, hidden in a computer. So my personal life at the beginning really didn't exist either. I was working at J.P. Morgan still, and I was also doing this business, so I couldn't really focus on my friends or my husband. I think it was worth it. I mean, now that we have you know a multi-million dollar company, I don't think we could have done it if I wasn't as focused on the business. I think last year we did 1.7 million, and then we're looking to do 2.5. It's slow growth because we started in this when there, we had the recession. For someone who's starting out, unless you're willing to give it a hundred million percent and you're willing to give up everything that you currently care about and willing to sacrifice being with your children or being there for your friends or your family, it's really impossible to be able to grow without doing that. The response has been amazing from women and consumers and when we meet people, if I see somebody in the street wearing our shoes, I love it. It is so exciting. I go up to them. I'm definitely glad that I took the risk with my sister to start this company and do what we're doing now because I've grown as a person, as a manager, as a boss, as, as a mother. I've learned more than I could have ever imagined. I've come into contact with more people than I could have ever thought I would meet. And I've, not just about this industry, but about business in general, we've learned so much that we could take all of our learnings and everything and do anything now.